How's it going guys? Rupdad here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we made our way across the moon flow. We got to ride the shoop off. And we had to protect Yuna from getting kidnapped by the Albed. Who are apparently behind the disappearing summoners we heard about. In this episode, I'm going to stop chilling out here by Kamari and get a move on. Before we leave the station, however, um, Awaka's right here if you want to buy stuff. He's just got the standard items if you need to restock. If you go up here, you'll find the Albed Primer Volume 12. And we are now in Albed Meinhan. Yeah, Albed really do have a lot of weird words. Um, if you were considering going back for whatever reason, the driver tells you that the shoe puff is sleeping, so you can't go back. Now, what do you got to say, Orin? Guard Yuna. Yeah, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Will do. Um, oh, who are you? You look important. Oh, he's just gonna tell us that Guado Salam is up ahead. I'm going to assume... It's probably self-explanatory that that's where all the water will probably live. Anyway, you got a treasure chest hidden behind him that contains an ether. Um, real quick. Uh, this girl is a uh, blissful player. I just want to sign her quick. Just to, uh... Oh, she's a former crusader. Huh. Well, still, there's something blissful related I want to get off screen that I might highlight, um, in a future episode once I do get it. Just kind of depends on how the chips fall, so... But it will be very helpful. Uh, hello? What have we got here? You're not dead? Really? That's what you have to say? Uh, uh? Not dead, really? But we have a very familiar face here! <laughs> now, whoa, 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 uh. easy there! I know you're kind of happy to see us again after having not seen you since the, near the beginning of the game, but really? Oh. Thought I was done for back there. Yep, it's Riku. Riku, you're Riku. I just said that. Uh, hey, uh, you're okay. How you been? She doesn't look okay. Terrible. Yeah, that's kind of self-explanatory by the looks yeah, of things. you don't look so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Excuse me? Huh? Oh, that Machina? That oh, was you? she was piloting the extractor we destroyed in the last mm. episode. That's an unfortunate oh, coincidence. I really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> w w wait, but you attacked us. He's got a. Uh, uh it's not exactly what you think. Then explain then. No! Uh oh. Riku's in our bed, and... Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna? Lulu? I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's in our bed. I was about to say, you better hold your tongue on that last part. Ah. Uh, uh. Wow, so you like, all your life. What luck meeting here, yeah? True. Praise be to Yevon. Can we stop praising Yevon, please? I'm getting sick so, of it. Uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh boy. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. <laughs> right. Sorry, Waka. Yay uh, for gender what? separation ah. when it comes to discussions. I was always curious about what on earth girls really do talk about when they say, Oh, we need to have a girl talk. No boys allowed. Sir Oren, I would like Riku to be my guardian. Another guardian? Do we need another one? I think we're... Show me your face. I think we're pretty good with how much we have. Look at me. Oh, Though okay. it would be nice having Riku around again. Open your eyes. Green eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? 
A hundred percent. So, anyway. So we got an Albed Guardian now. I... Interesting. If Yuna wishes it. Like Orin cares, he just wants to get yes, the Xanarkin. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. That seems to be the theme of right Yuna's party here. And I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. Probably for the best, for now anyway. Um, anyway, we are just going to cross this little bridge here and start going down this back path. Our first battle after we get Riku is a tutorial battle. Haven't had one of these in a while. Ooh, a treasure chest. And this is going to introduce uh, I wonder what's inside. brand new mechanic. Treasure chests in battles. Sometimes you may randomly find treasure chests in battles. And if you use Riku's steal command, you can open them up and get what's inside. But you attack a treasure chest, you destroy it and whatever's inside. And if you kill all the enemies before opening a treasure chest with steel, then, yeah, you're going to lose the treasure chest. Anyway, Yahoo! this one contained two bomb cores and, oh, Bunyip, where did you come from? You should know, I'm scary when I get mad. I'm going to use that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry. What she's referring to is the fact that we're finally getting to see Riku's Overdrive mixed. Where you can actually mix two items in your inventory and create various effects. Some of them do damage, some heal. So for this example, we're going to take the two bomb cores we just got and merge them together. Which creates Firestorm. There are tons and tons of different Overdrive you can make through Riku's mix. So it's good to experiment and try them all. What did you just do? That was great! I can combine items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. Apparently it's a special trait for the Albed, but still, very useful to have. So as we're can oh. Blatant treasure chest. Four antidotes. Nice. So as we head down this path, um, I find it kind of weird how the one defining trait, other than speaking a language that says, hey, I'm an Albed, is apparently the fact that they all Albed have green eyes. So I guess if uh, the Albed existed in real life, I would automatically be classified as an Albed just because I have green eyes in real life. Interesting. As we get the generic run of enemies that we had before, let's go ahead and cut this out because... Yeah, you guys know the drill by now. Yeah, I think you know the common trend as we head down this path, and I see a treasure chest out in the open up there. We're gonna get something new. A bunyip, two bite bugs, and a treasure chest. Let me get Riku out here. Um, the one thing I will note about Riku is that... I'll do my best. As I open up the treasure chest of steel and get another dragon scale, nice. I do want to note that with Riku, she is probably the uh, fastest character you have next to uh, your main character. So if you have her and Tias out at the same time, you're bound to get a couple hits off right off the bat, which is always nice. Being able to strike first, strike hard, etc., etc., etc. Um, I guess I'll get Lulu in here and just take this thing out with Blizzard or something. These things are fairly weak. They aren't too magic resistant, so... There you go. It's dead. And with that taken care of, we are now going to keep moving. And it looks like we're already where we need to go, so... Right in front of the damn treasure chest, really? Stupid Ochu. Okay, and now that irritating battle is out of the way... Let's open this chest and get a Mega Potion. 
And now we're going to continue on, and it looks like we've... Yep, thank you, map. We have reached Guado Salam. Which apparently is in a cave. I can't tell whether or not that's fitting. I guess it kind of depends on how you view Seymour. Though, the, I've got nothing against the Guado, it's just Seymour is creeping and trusting. Expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. And you are? This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you for running interference, whoa, whoa. Waka. I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Oh, joy. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Nothing good. Please, uh, come inside the manor. All will be explained. That's a manor. Of course, uh, your friends are also welcome. Oh, it's just like a giant door. Star arms, why don't you? So I guess we're gonna go find ah, out what forgot. Seymour wants. But before we go, with the recon up right now, we can customize our weapons and armor. Just like the Aeons, um, giving them new abilities, we can customize our weapons with any ones that have empty slots on them and spend items in order to give them new abilities. And of course, if it has no empty slots or we don't have then we can't customize them, or if we don't have enough items, and we can't give them certain things. So for this example, again, it's going automatically. They take the Barak Sword, spend four Bomb Fragments to give it Fire Strike, and once you confirm it, sometimes it will actually change what the weapon actually is. Like there, it turned the Barak Sword into a Flame Tongue. What would you do without me? Well, we've survived up to this point without you, Riku, but... Anyway, so... Well, there is one thing I want to show off real quickly. Um, through this... Oh, wait, never mind. It's a little later. So... We've made it here to Guadalcanal. I know we... Didn't do a whole lot. But we got Riku, we made it to Guado Salam. And apparently we're going to Maester Seymour's place. Um, well I guess, there you go, I also grabbed another treasure chest with another mega potion inside. Hooray for us. And now that I think about it, let's go in here. This is an inn apparently, so, we might as well stop in here. Hey, Shalinda. Guardian. Sir Guardian. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guadalcanal. Joy. He's young, but he deserves our respect. Right. Um, there is one other thing right off the top of my head, I guess, I want to go after real quick. This small little, uh, house... I guess you can call it, maybe? Right here? Albert Primer Volume 13. s and m Ugh. And, yeah, I think now we're gonna wrap things up, because, uh... Actually, wait, I remember something. I know, I keep putting off the end of this video, but I just keep remembering stuff. Hey, they're acknowledging me by name. So yes, um, the if you're looking for players from the Guado Glories team, one of the uh, Blitzball teams, you can find them here. And there, that's what I was looking for. A hidden treasure chest back there that contains 3,000 gil. Okay, now I'm going to end this episode off. For real this time, and lady, don't push me. So, my name has been Ruptat. Thank you for watching Let's Play Final Fantasy X, and I will see you in the next episode.
that was a bit of a disturbing graphical glitch.